Well, unfortunately, I have to record this again because for some reason, Sony Vegas only sees the audio, not the video. Oh, what a coincidence. I didn't expect to meet you here. So, hey everyone, this is TT, and today I am bringing you more Monocamia. Came out here to meet you. PVC, we beat chapter three. You never even sent a single letter. And today we're gonna get some new party members. It would never reach you, even if I had. Those guys would just rip it up. That's true. Oh, is he yours? <laughs> He's my traveling companion. Being alone's not all fun and games. I don't. Still have no idea who these two people are. You've changed. Care to join me? Are you kidding? I have things to take care of. Okay. Event. Event. Play Roxas in a Battle Arena, Chapter 4. Good morning. I know we just got back from break, but class is starting. Well, I mean, why else would we be in the classroom? Okay, okay, quiet down. Now about this term's courses. Rabble, rabble, rabble. We have the school festival coming up this term. Hmm. I know you're excited, but make sure you finish all your assignments first. What's going to be at the festival? Rebel, 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 rebel. We'll have food stands, presentations, and then a big event. Perhaps some sort of battle arena. I think this year it's a duo tag team battle arena. The winners get prizes, so if you're interested, I suggest you sign up. Hmm. Well, that's all for today. Battle arena, I like it. You guys can enter the enter blah the battle arena thingy. Don't really want to. So barbaric. Yeah, okay. Nikki, you the real MVP. Uh, Flay, you the real MVP. Yeah, the manliest of duos. Flay and well, quite frankly, it doesn't really matter who else he has enough. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Machismo. Yeah, why is Flay participating? They don't say why. Take a look at this. Uh, ooh. <gasps> he got that mana. The mana of gold. Wait, how did he get that? <laughs> well, that... That that's 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 a thing. What? Let's go train. What? Sorry, Vane. Vane got flayed. Well, 
I guess we get some snacks out of it. a loud explosion oh so what he's saying here uh, scheduling I'm sorry not scheduling task sharing essentially what this does is now that we have a bunch of party members we can have them do various things during each one of the uh, time segments. The default is having them do nothing. You don't ever want to have them do nothing. There's no benefit to having them do nothing. Uh, they can either synthesize a certain uh, item. Uh, it may not work. It may work, may not work. Uh, the best part about having them synthesize an item is that it doesn't eat up your ingredients. You can also have them go to a specific location and uh, search for ingredients there. Gather, rather. Or you can just have them join the search and they get AP. For the most part, you'll typically not be doing search to give them AP. You'll typically be having them either gather or synthesize an item. Because materials are so much more important than... Uh, no, we're not going to look at the tutorial. Because I just explained it. Normally I would have played it, but I really don't feel like showing it. Because... Again, I explained that there really isn't more to it than that. Okay, uh, I'm going to explain... I'll explain formations in a minute. Uh, now, you can only have three members uh, fighting at a time, but your uh, standby members... Well, there's Vanguard, Support, and Standby. Standby won't come into place... Uh, won't come into play until we get our last two party members because you can only have three vanguard and three supports which means that you have two that are always on standby and the way this works the vanguard is just you know your normal three your normal three characters they fight whenever uh, the two support ones you can like call them in uh, usually like during uh, usually right after somebody attacks or you're going to be attacked you can call in uh, an ally to replace that uh, character that's either attacking or being attacked um, and by doing that that person gets swapped into vanguard and the vanguard person gets swapped back into support and you're going to be doing this a lot because since the SP heals are not very common, this is really the only way to he to restore your SP effectively. Um, because while your characters are on standby, their SP recovers. Or, I'm sorry, when they're I'm sorry when they're in support. When they're in support, their SP recovers. <laughs> oh, the ominous music. But when they're on standby. They can't participate in any fights at all, but their SP and HP both recover. So this, it becomes important again later on when you're going through longer dungeons or you want to go through an area for more time. You don't have to worry about, oh yeah, I have to make a whole bunch of items or find a safe, or be bound to a save point. You can just swap out the uh, members. And additionally, when you swap members in, whether it's offensively or defensively, it, they have special effects 
Like uh, one character, when you swap them in, uh, they get they add one to their hit count. So in this case, if uh, if it was Vayne doing it, he would get three hits instead of two on his regular attack. Um, you have one person. I think it's Nikki when you when you sub her in. Uh, she negates a physical attack when used defensively. Uh, Flay, which you get him in your party, if you sub him in offensively, then it like lowers the enemy's defense. It's various different effects. And it does add some strategy. <laughs> yeah. There's also another thing that you're able to do. Um... I believe they call it variable strike. Alright, so uh, we're going to have everyone gather uh, living forest. Oh, let's do that thing again. Alright, what can I synthesize? Cure jar. Burdock straight. It's going to be a lot of synthesis. Oh, and I wasn't even paying attention. Just thought of this. He cures poison. Oh. This one gives us preservative. We can make this with a tangerine. And a blue petal. Let's get that either level up. Now, as you probably saw in the party... Oh, I picked the wrong one. I can make this now. And this is, it's meat, salt, and preservative. Which means it has to be bacon. Uh, there is that. Okay. So let's look in these dudes' grow books. Flagonar. Or gunner, I don't know. You see, their stats right now are pretty abysmal. So we're going to throw in some AP over here. This is the point where the game starts getting really fun. When you actually have members you can swap out, and then combat is less of just, okay, just... Because right now, it's, it's at the point where it's, oh, you just mash regular attack like the one boss fight it's okay you used up all your sp now you just you just use regular attacks that's 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 no fun that's boring sclepius i need to figure out how to make an asclepius dietary fiber straddle can't say that five times fast thorn gauntlet Technically, I should uh, not uh, get the plus one hit just so I can see what the single hit animation is. But I don't want to do that. Because I doubt that anybody watching is interested in seeing that. Did I? Oh, there we go. I gotta go over on this side. Uh, 
There we go. Alright, can I make any... Do anything for anybody else? Nope. I can do this now. And this. And this. Wow. Okay. Healing Echo Beta. I'm going to do this. And then Minimum Tornado. What am I going to get from here? Just D support. Okay. So remember the things I was telling you about where you would swap in a uh, member and they do fancy stuff? You have to get this D support or A support in order to do that. You also see you can get bonuses to uh, your SP recovery and support speed. The the plus to SP recovery is when you're when you're in support and support speed is like once you swap in like once you swap out somebody, they have to you have to wait for their card to like recharge. You'll see, like when, when when we get into a fight, you'll see. But you have to wait for their card thingy to recharge before you can swap them back in. So you can't just like you know keep swapping out members every single turn. That's no, you can't you can't do that. I felt like there was something here I could make. Long uniform. Oh, pleather cloth. That's what I need. Oh, and I don't even have an Asclepius. In this, I still don't understand. Why does it have... Why does it show... Yeah, I I won't understand that. Now's the time to buy some recipes from around campus. Time to go to the student store to get some something. What am I what am I getting? I actually don't know what I'm getting here. Uh, unless I'm getting... I can get some pleather cloth. That's good enough. Okay. I can make black steel. There we go. Oh yeah, I remember what all I wanted to do. All right, time to go to the campus grounds. Just so you know, the own the rest of the video is just going to be me going around getting recipes and then heading back to the workshop. So well, honestly, you could stop the video here if you want. Okay, good. Now that everyone's gone. Two more stops. Cafeteria. And the infirmary. I'm going to try to keep the video shorter, like around 20 minutes. Because uh, my previous recording was right around 30 minutes. And for some reason, it... Yeah, and for some reason, it... Uh only recorded the well no I could watch the video and audio normally but when I tried to load in Sony Vegas it only would load up the audio so obviously that's you know useless to me so that's why I'm um, re-recording this
There's all that fancy stuff we can make. Alright, we're going to go back to the workshop. There should be a scene in here. There's a couple of scenes we'll see uh, on the next video. Because there are scenes that you get to see if you did the character quests. Now, if you're wondering why I had everybody in task sharing gather from the living forest, it's because in some of the upcoming uh, recipes that we need to make, we need an item called a glowing petal. And having people search in the living forest is the quickest way to get that at the moment. So by having people search for it now, it saves us the trouble of having to, you know, run through... Or it saves me the trouble of having, you know, spend half an hour going to the living forest trying to find glowing petals. So I can just get it now and be done with it. Yeah, just put in more of everything else. Okay. Yeah. And, yes, it is okay. <laughs> I, oh, you're right. <laughs> like, they didn't expect it. Because science, that's why. Also, also, it's extremely manly. The manliest of potions. I just want to synthesize an item called a manly potion. Shaped like a little blue pill with a V on it. Okay. So, on the next installment, um, Monokamia, I'm going to I'm gonna see if I can make all those recipes that I just got, and we will see what that opens up in the grow book. Uh, I'm going to go around a couple places in the academy and show off the cutscenes that, uh, that it plays, you know, because of the character quest, and then we'll grab an assignment. So this has been GT. Thank you all for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.